Hello SOLIDWORKS Power Users, this is Alin Vargato from Javelin Technologies trying to answer one of the most challenging questions I have ever been asked. Can you wrap a sketch on a very complex set of surfaces and also can you unwrap such a sketch? So just to raise the level of complexity, let's draw directly on these complex surfaces. Um, let's create the first sketch. I'm just going to go and pick up a spline on surface tool and I'm just going to click on various places on these faces. I'm going to try to create a closed profile. Okay, so let's say this is my sketch. Notice it's a 3D sketch nicely wrapped randomly on these faces. The first thing I'm going to try to do is unwrap this sketch. So first of all, allow me to apply a color to it so we can see it easily. Maybe pink would stand out, right? You can see where it is. And I'm going to try to flatten it. Um, fortunately, I already de define an edge on my part that's in the plane of symmetry. To flatten it, I'm going to use the Surface Flatten tool, which exists in SOLIDWORKS Premium. So for the selection, what do I want to flatten? I need to select the faces that are going to be flattened. So I'm going to select all the faces tangent to this one. And also a fixed point. So let's pick up this point. You can see a preview of how it's going to look like. And the cool thing, I can select additional entities, which include sketches. So if I click OK right now, and I hide the solid body, I'm going to press the tab key for that. I'm getting this sketch. Let's make it uh, maybe cyan. So this is the result of unwrapping this in a flat plane. Uh, obviously, or any plane is flat. If I'm looking from the top, or actually from, from this direction, you can see that uh, it's not a projection. It's an unwrapping. Uh, what about wrapping it back? I'm going to get it exactly where it, I started from. Well, I just wanted to point out one thing. I'm going to use a different tool. So flatten surface was used for unwrapping it. What I'm going to use to wrap it back is going to be the wrap command, which has drastically been improved in the last few releases. I'm going to select the new sketch. I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the analytical method, which requires uh, a conical surface, a cylindrical surface, or a planar surface. Um, I'm going to use the spline surface option, which is a fancy way to say I you can wrap it around anything. Let me select exactly the same faces. So I'm going to go select tangency. And um, the result is not going to be a sketch. It's going to be a new set of edges on these faces. So I'm going to use the option to create edges. Click OK. And let's see where the edges are. You can see it's kind of hard to see them. Right? Uh, maybe one thing I should do is turn them into um, a 3D sketch, right? So let's convert them as entities, uh, create a 3D sketch, pick up these new edges, kind of hard to see on this um, background. So I'm going to try to select them by tangency, run convert entities. Let's save the sketch and color it also. What should we pick? Should we pick um, yellow maybe? Yeah, I think so. So what do we see? There is a deviation from the original. I'm not going to say that SOLIDWORKS has done anything wrong here uh, because I'm not sure if uh, the frame of reference is the same. When I did the flattening, I went based on this point where here I kind of wrapped it uh, using a different uh, functionality. But the result is pretty, pretty impressive. You can do both wrapping and unwrapping in uh, SOLIDWORKS of very complex sketches, very complex edges. If creating complex shapes and managing them, creating these complex curves and managing them is what your job requires, I strongly hope that we will have a chance to spend more time together in one of our training courses, either the Advanced Power Modeling course or the Surface Modeling course where we're going to go in greater detail over everything that is relevant to creating and managing such complex shapes. See you there.